McClendon County was under an ice storm and winter storm warning from Monday afternoon through Thursday morning. Although the temperatures crept up above freezing on Thursday, we didn't see normal weather conditions until the sun came out on Friday. Public Works staff were quick to sand major roadways and bridges. The Office of Emergency Management and Parks and Recreation to open Dewey Community Center as a warming center to help residents stay warm during the frigid weather. Trash collection was paused momentarily on Tuesday and resumed Thursday. If your trash was not picked up on your normal day, please keep your bins at the curb. Solid waste crews are working through Saturday to catch up. A huge thank you to City of Waco staff that confronted the cold weather to keep our community safe. Have you noticed the recent refresh at Cobbs Recycling Center? Although the Cobbs Recycling Center is in the same location, the address has been updated to 4201 Trice Avenue because of the new entrance and exit to the center. The easiest way to get into the Recycling Center is to turn onto Trice Avenue from New Road. Recycling Center staff have been hard at work the past few months updating the layout to make room for a brand new operations building. All the same recycling services, including paper, glass, electronics, styrofoam, and so much more are still available. The hours of operation remain the same, Monday through Saturday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Learn more about Cobbs Recycling Center at waco-texas.com slash Cobbs. The Waco Police Tower is getting a shiny new look with brand new windows. The current windows were original to the building from when it was built as an addition to the old Hillcrest Medical Center. The existing single glazed windows will be replaced with a double glazed system to provide better protection for Waco Police Department staff, visitors, and other building occupants, and provide an annual savings of approximately $56,000 in energy expenses. The south side of the building is complete from the 10th through 2nd floors. The west side of the building has begun construction and is expected to be completed by the end of March, with the north and east sides following. The installation started last September and is expected to be completed this fall. 